Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Raising children in the West is a task, and it's a task that I understand. I have kids, and raising them is not easy. As a father who has studied Islam and spends a lot of time in the field of education, for me, it's a massive task looking after my kids and trying to get their tarbiya, their nurturing done properly. For people who don't have um, the same exposure to Islamic knowledge or even the experience in education, it could be very difficult. And it's not wise to be gambling with the future of your child. That's why we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us with Islamic schools all throughout the nation. And each school is offering something special, something unique, something different. When we were growing up, we didn't have this. We didn't have Islamic schools. It was unheard of. We barely had a Sunday school. In the Dallas community, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with many amazing opportunities for our children to benefit from as a part of their own personal, spiritual, intellectual, individual growth. And I think Guthrie Academy is surely at the top of that list. When I moved to Dallas, I remember hearing from families telling me, hey, look into Good Tree Academy, look into Good Tree Academy. Your kids will enjoy it, it's really good. Uh, their Quran program is awesome. A lot of emphasis on developing a relationship with the Quran, understanding the meaning of the Quran, reading the Quran fluently. It's not just uh, a superficial connection, it's a real deep connection that's being built with the Quran. The education is great, the teachers are great, the facility is great, the management is, is doing good. So all of this, when I heard it, it brought great joy to me. The truth is that I live very far from Good Tree Academy, very, very far. I'm not sure if it would be practical to go all the way out there. But at a time like this, where we are all financially struggling, so are our institutions. And we must give preference to our institutions in times like this because these institutions have taken very long to build. A lot of money has gone into them. A lot of talent searching has gone into it. A lot of curriculum development has gone into this. And our children rely on our institutions. Our communities rely on our institutions. If we have a temporary loss, we can always make up for it because we represent a household. Our institutions represent our community. And we must not abandon them or leave them. I encourage everyone to utilize what remains of this Ramadan to continue to be generous and support our institutions. Tonight is the opportunity for us to support Good Tree Academy. This is that day. So I invite you all, be generous, be kind. Think of the community, think of our kids. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it from us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for being with us today. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the Good Tree Academy team for the great work they do, the teachers. They're amazing. The students are amazing. The management's great. You guys are all doing good work. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to accept it and grant barakah. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.